two things. I already pretty much lost daylight because it's like five o'clock and it's like winter and it don't make no sense. Two, um, my battery's running low so I gotta rush this video. Um, been a minute since I made a video because of this weather. Here is everything I hate about this car that gives me all the problems. No, this car don't give me no problems, but here's everything I hate about this car. Start it off, number one. It's black, everything shows up. Rock chips. First off, these these brakes are something else, but I ain't gonna talk about that. Look at all this. Everything shows up. Now I know what you're gonna say. I already know. Why don't you wash your car? In case I'd have to wash it every single day. And I don't know about you, but I don't got time for that. I ain't gonna wash it after this, but still. For number two, I had to step inside because first of all, the interior is not too bad, but compared to the S550 interior, which I'll show you right now, uh, it's, it's a dinosaur. Um, I ain't got no screen. Hold up. Damn, look, look it's even turning off on me. I ain't got no screen. I don't, you know what I mean? It's, the seats are okay, but like, can I get all that bolstering? Like, they, oh God, like. You know what I mean? Like, you can keep a stock S550 interior. Like, I'm about to get a big ass screen. I can't get jiggy with this. Can you? I mean, we got the, the bi color gauges and all that. Let me show you that. Uh, you know, you got it in the foot well, you know, in the cup holder and all that. You know, but um, not to mention with the my color thing, you get the little, you know, the Mustang doers, but whatever. <laughs> Does that really do it justice for not having a screen in 2011? 2014, they ain't even had a screen. Only the GT 500s had a screen. Just send me a new interior and it'll, it'll all be all right. Whenever I make a video, it's always that one person that stopped and want to watch me. Like, it was him. It was a boy that was right here and it was a boy in a scat pack that sat. Number three, I think we're on. Now, this is specific to just my car, but you got these LEDs, right? These, these fire. These fire. I switched these out. I gotta switch this whole housing out though. You come through, they like, ooh, he got the shark gills. You know what I mean? Actually drive at night, it looks like this. They look like this. Close to you may be like, that's not too bad, right? Let me come back for y'all a little bit. Why not make the whole thing LED? Like, this is like, I'm hearing this halogen right there. It's not, it's, it doesn't look good. Come on now. Next thing is, it's a terrible winter car, as you can see, because I ain't make a video in like three weeks. Oh. Because if it was a better winter car, I would have made it through the snow and I wouldn't have been trapped. So it's not a good winter car because I ain't about to put snow tires on it. And that's my fault. But I'm gonna get another truck, I'm gonna get a truck or something, but it's gonna be okay. <laughs> but um next thing I wanted to add was that. A lot of people don't know, but it looks exactly like the previous year model, but it has 100 horsepower more, and it's on par with a 05 to 09 GT stock, and it only has 10 horsepower stock less than a 2010 GT. So, it's a sleeper, which is a good thing, but then it's not a good thing because you're not gonna get the respect because like, come on now, they think it's the previous year, but only it's 200 horsepower. Like, like just, just like just look, just look. All right. Next thing I wanted to show was the last thing I hate, which is really the most like annoying thing to me, which is how raspy the exhaust is naturally. Like, you know what I mean? I know what I got, but like, come on, like. And my gears wine. I should have added that in. My gears wine from uh when I got 373s put in. So that's another thing, but hear the exhaust. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear it that well, but I got you. I'm working on fixing this to make it better though. So as you can see, it's pretty damn raspy. That being said, I don't hate my car. This is all the stuff I dislike about it, as everybody always says. Well, I really, 
I hate this gear wine. I really do hate that, but like still. For for me to get back to uh, all the video making, uh, I've been going for a minute. I'm back now. Um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, browse the channel. Uh, have a nice day.